Chemosh Moabite Kamas, Hebrew Kemos Kamos Kemo Eblate Kamis was the god of the Moabites. He is most notably attested in the Mesha Stel and the Hebrew Bible. The etymology of Kemosh is unknown. He is also known from Ebla as Kamish, while he is most readily associated with the Moabites. According to Judges chapter 11 verses 23 to 24, he seems to have been the national deity of the Ammonites as well. According to the Hebrew Bible, the worship of this god, the abomination of Moab, was introduced at Jerusalem by Solomon, 1 Kings chapter 11 verse 7, but was abolished by Josiah, 2 Kings chapter 23 verse 13. 11th century Jewish commentator Rashi quotes a tradition that Solomon's wives built the temples to Chemosh and other deities, and that Solomon is considered responsible for not stopping them. On the Moabite stone, Mesha, 2 Kings chapter 3 verse 5, ascribed his victories over the king of Israel to this god, and Chemosh drove him out from before me. According to Morris Jastrow Jr. and George Aaron Barton in the Jewish Encyclopedia, the national god of the Moabites. He became angry with his people and permitted them to become the vassals of Israel. His anger passed, he commanded Mesha to fight against Israel, and Moabitish independence was re-established Moabite Stone, lines 5, 9, 14 at Seq. A king in the days of Sennacherib was called Chemoshnadab. K. B. I. I. 90 at Seq. See Jehonadab. Chemosh was a god associated with the Semitic mother goddess Ashtar, whose name he bears Moabite stone, line 17, compare Barton. Semitic origins. IV. Peak wrongly holds that Ashtar Chemosh was a deity distinct from Chemosh, while Moore and Bathgen Beatrage zur Semitischen Religionsgeschichte, p. 14 regard Ashtar in this name as equivalent to Astarte, who they believe was worshipped in the temple of Chemosh. Ashtar is more probably masculine here, as in South Arabia, and another name for Chemosh, the compound, Ashtar Chemosh, being formed like, Y-H-W-H Elohim, or Y-H-W-H Sebrath. Whatever differences of conception may have attached to the god at different shrines, there is no adequate reason for doubting the substantial identity of the gods to whom these various names were applied. Hosea X. 10 is proof that at some period according to Wellhausen, at the time of the prophet himself the impure cult of the Semitic goddess was practiced at Baal Peor compare Wellhausen, Kleiner Prophetel, Nowak's commentary, and G. A. Smith, 12 prophets, ad loc. Chemosh, therefore, was in general a deity of the same nature as Baal. On critical occasions a human sacrifice was considered necessary to secure his favor compare 2 Kings III. 27, and when deliverance came, a sanctuary might be built to him Moabite stone, line 3. An ancient poem, twice quoted in the Old Testament, Num, XXI. 27-30, Jer, XLVIII. 45, 46, regards the Moabites as the children of Chemosh, and also calls them, the people of Chemosh. The name of the father of Mesha, Chemosh Melech, Chemosh is Malik, or Chemosh is king. Compare Moabite stone, line 1, indicates the possibility that Chemosh and Malik or Moloch were one and the same deity. Book of Judges chapter 11 verse 24 has been thought by some to be a proof of this, since it speaks of Chemosh as the god of the Ammonites, while Moloch is elsewhere their god. Compare 1 Kings chapter 11 verses 7, 33. Solomon is said to have built a sanctuary to Chemosh on the Mount of Olives, 1 Kings chapter 11 verses 7, 33, which was maintained till the reform of Josiah, 2 Kings chapter 23 verse 13. This movement by Solomon was no doubt to some extent a political one, but it made the worship of Chemosh a part of the religious life of Israel for nearly 400 years. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Literary references. John Milton, Paradise Lost, Book One. Next, C H E M O S T H, Obscene Dread of M O A B S Sons. From A R O E R to Nebo and the Wild of Southmost A B A R I M in H E S E B O N and H E R O N A I M S E O N S Realm Beyond. The Flowery Dale of S I B M A Clad with Vines and E L E A L E to T H A S P H A L T I C K Pool. Pay or his other name, when he enticed Israel in Sittim on their march from Nile to do him wanton rights, which cost them woe. Yet thence his lustful orgies he enlarged 
even to that hill of scandal the Mount of Olives, by the grove of Moloch homicide, lust hard by hate till good Josiah drove them thence to hell. Harry Turtledove's short alternate history story, Occupation Duty, collected in Atlantis and other places anthology features a society where chemoshism survived to the present day, and the popular image of chemosh has apparently metamorphosed into something akin to Yahweh. <laughs> Notes <laughs>